Listen, we have a very uh, special group of people we're going to be honoring here in just a few minutes. The Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association representing a good part of Northern Virginia. Uh, Here's the task that I have for you. You see they all have nicknames. You need to come up with a nickname for this guy in the next couple of minutes, all right? In the meantime, we'll be back in a minute. But let's see those bikes first of all. Whoa. We'll park the waves. And you guys are looking sharp. Rode in an hour and a half to join us this morning. And we'll chat with them coming up right after the break. have all of you guys here and, and we thank you guys for being here we want to talk to you for good reason and, and uh, Rick I want to come to you first of all uh, tell me a little bit about this particular chapter and what it is that you guys do sure so we're the uh, combat vets motorcycle association uh, we're made up of uh, veteran uh, combat veterans and, and active duty military uh, we got support members who are non-combat but they've served in the military or are serving in the military and our auxiliary um, here in Virginia we're uh, stationed out in uh, Upperville uh, but we have 12 chapters throughout Virginia. So, so your chapter, your Upperville out to Winchester, kind of covering that area. And as far as your service, various branches represented, right? You served in the? Yeah, I served in the Navy. Correct. And the Army. And of course, the Marine Corps. Ah, Marine Corps. Marine Corps. All right. So we have everything represented here. Uh, listen, obviously, it's, a, it's an opportunity for you guys to get together. You have the social aspect of all this. You get to ride, which you absolutely love. But you also do some good things in the community. What are some of the things you have coming up? Uh, some of the things we have coming up, we have uh, our poker run that's this Saturday, and Tucker's going to give us good weather. That's what he said he promised. So, uh, But that's going to be out at Tim Cannon Brewery out in Manassas. So uh, if you all could be there uh, Saturday at 12, that's where the kickoff is. Um, but we also do things like um, we raise money for veterans. We're building a deck for a veteran currently right now. We, uh, we uh, do uh, clothing drives. Uh, lots of good things like that. All right, explain for those who don't know what a poker run is. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So, so a poker run is is you uh, you go around and you have stops. So we at this time we have uh, five stops, two at Tin Cannon, and we've got uh, one at Old Busthead, one at Harry's in Warrington, and the other one was. What was the other one? Uh, so you get five stops and you get five stops. Stop. So you get a you get a, yeah you get a uh, basically a piece of paper and you go to that stop you draw a card and whoever has the best hand wins a prize whoever has the worst hand gets a prize. Just I was going to say what, what's the worst hand to win a prize but then if the worst hand does win yes, a prize yes. so that kind of defeats a purpose there as long as you're not holding like you know a bunch of fours and fives or whatever yeah exactly uh, all right I want to talk to some of you other uh, gentlemen real quick you're right in front of me um, when you get a chance to, to help out other veterans what does that mean for you because obviously everybody who has served you dealt with with you know your own experience when you get a chance to help somebody else what does that do for you it's, it's huge um, especially when you know you see folks that are in the military and you know that they need assistance it really um, touches us that when we can help other veterans yeah you, you're not going to hide being as tall as you are in the back. <laughs> uh, but I see you have your Desert Storm patch, you have your different patches. You know, for you, what's that experience like to be able to pay it forward? Um, it's wonderful. It, uh, it's heartfelt. Knowing that your sisters and brothers that has given come back to, the, to their country, their, their home. And um, a lot of them are struggling. That's where we come from. And... Uh, just help and that's 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 brotherhood that's family it's really well said and that's what you're seeing here is the brotherhood and the family uh we have two more orders of business to take care of now first of all you know, i gave you a task earlier before we went to commercial break and that was to come up with the name for tucker now i didn't see anybody discussing it so if anybody has one that you think is better do you have one yes. all right so because you see that you all have your patches on which are great mm -hmm. we got coco we got pad eye we got bull grinch what's tucker going to be Rainmaker. Rainmaker. Oh, Rainmaker. Rainmaker. I'll take that. Rainmaker. Yeah. I like it. All right. We got to get you a patch for Rainmaker. I love it. Now, I said we had two more orders of business to do. The second order of business is thanks to our good friends at Eastern Automotive Group. We want to help you guys out because we know you're doing great in the community. We know you're doing your best to raise money. So our friends at Eastern's Automotive Group said, we're just going to give you a head start and give you $2,200 for the job. There it is. So go ahead and continue to do all the good things you're doing and get that to the veterans who need it most. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. How, how far can something like that go? That can go a long way. Uh, for example, we're building that veteran stack, and that's about $3,500 to do that. So this, this will help a lot. So you can help a veteran literally have a, a new place to spend some time and, and hopefully help themselves heal a little bit as well, right? Absolutely. Well, listen, we thank all of you for your service. We thank you all for being here. We thank you for driving carefully today in yes. the rain. Rainmaker here is going to uh, hopefully not make rain for your ride No, we'll keep them dry. 
Uh, one disclaimer, though. you got to put this on the back of the bike and uh, show it off as you're driving home. <laughs> All right? Okay. <laughs> we'll get you maybe a smaller one that fits around the license plate. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. I really appreciate it. Thanks, y'all, for your service. Yeah. And uh, best Thank wishes you, of everything. Yeah. Safe right. ride home. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio.